Meantime, now at 5.30, a Charlotte gas station is accused of charging drivers way too much to fill up, and it's now being sued for price gouging. During the colonial shut, pipeline shutdown, of course, we all remember back in May, Governor Cooper declared a state of emergency. Yeah, and during that time, businesses like gas stations are prohibited from charging customers unreasonably high prices. Fox 46 chief business correspondent Taylor Young joins us now live from the Queens Market in North Charlotte. And Taylor, the AG's office is accusing the owners of taking advantage of people. Yeah, that's right, Brian. In the lawsuit announced today, he accuses this gas station of charging customers nearly $10 a gallon. A colonial pipeline shutdown back in May made finding gas across the Carolinas a headache. So you couldn't get any gas. So, you know, if you find a gas station and you can get some gas, you know, you get it, although it's you know, this price too high. Vanita says she was able to find flowing pumps at Queens Market, but with a price tag of $9.99 a gallon. Yeah, it was, it was just too much. It was just, you know, it didn't make no sense. Other drivers also confused by the high price tag. I was like, there's no way I'm paying that much for gas. I was like, that's like three tanks of gas for my car. <laughs> RJ Kelly didn't end up filling up. Instead, he was one of 12 people to submit a complaint with the attorney general's office. It's kind of insane that they were basically just monetizing people's need for, uh, at this time, an essential, essential thing for work. The complaints were investigated. A lawsuit announced today by the attorney general's office accuses the owner of violating state price gouging laws by increasing prices by nearly 300 percent. Yeah, that's that's just criminal, really. I mean. There's no reason for that at all. So anything that is put on them, they deserve. So. According to the state, the lawsuit seeks restitution for all customers who overpaid. The company will also be required to pay civil fines and attorney fees. But if I had my receipt, yeah, I'd be on it. I'd be busting them wide open, telling where my money is. Now, this is the second gas station in the state to face a similar uh, fine. Now, we did speak with the attorney general this afternoon. He says his office is continuing to investigate similar claims that were made back in May. Back to you guys. Yeah, certainly glad to hear when you talk about 300 percent. Taylor Young live up there in North Charlotte for us tonight.